by the day, and by the day, Star Wars gets less and less popular. Oh, but Star Wars has always been popular. What do you mean? The way the movie goes to billion dollars. Uh, you know, it's of course still going to be popular. The only people who are still going to defend these Star Wars movies are the media. Because nobody really wants to talk about Star Wars anymore. Because Star Wars is so bad that no one wants to talk about Star Wars anymore. So here's the article, The Force is Gone. Why I don't have a new hope for The Rise of Skywalker. Who knows, maybe why the Skywalker will find, find all tedious storylines in the first two Star Wars sequels in the Coteer, Rain of War, and Coda. Then again, the trailer, if the trailer offers a clues, I understand the point of the trailer is to make the movie rise up fans of us in hopes of saving the end, the mess of a franchise. If someone could constantly explain the doubt of a <laughs> sequel trilogy, could you honestly do it? Rest of the day has been on Netflix for more, and as a live funk fan, a fan who paid to see the events of the Civil DSP time, I have been re able to rewatch it once for free. So, people are losing interest in Star Wars. But of course, they don't want to admit that people actually don't like it because of the plot or story or, the, or anything else. Okay? I can I, and, you know, the bad fact that the writing is so terrible and the plot is so garbage. No, they would really call people sexist if you don't like this garbage movie. Okay? If you don't, not like in a movie, that gives you an opinion. It does not make you sexist unless that opinion is really batting on the movie because it has feet because you know, um the main character because oh there's too many women in the movie, you know. And if you just hate movie if you actually are one, okay. Most people who didn't like the rest that I didn't like the movie for the plot, not because the characters were minorities. For that perspective, I'll grab watch the entire se seasons of an English baking show set for three hundred million that are sequel sequel to my childhood movie. Not only that I don't care about the what the plot or I don't care about the characters either. Oh no. That's against the this guy's going against the media narrative that you know, if you don't like if you don't like these terrible movies, you're a racist and sexist. Okay? People should be allowed to have their opinion without being called racist or sexist and what's to actually I'm also gonna talk about politics. No, 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 no. Politics is a whole different bird. Cause you know there are actual people who believe, you know, certain groups will be gone. You know, like you know, there's like, like I'm not gonna go into the, yeah, I'm not going into that bag of worms called politics. Cause the, cause not just politics here. There's politics of every country. Okay. Of course, not every not <laughs> like eighty percent of politicians are not. 99% of politicians are not racist or sexist, but there are that 1% who actually have racist views on the world. Instead of the Emperor, we had Snoke. Instead of Vader, we had Kyle. Instead of Luke, we had Rey. Instead of Han, we got Finn and Poe. Instead of Yoda, we got Luke. Instead of Arthur D2, we got BB-8, and so on and so on. None of the standards and names that were portrayed by the talented actors are not are nearly as compelling as the originals, many of whom are played by, portrayed by terrible actors. The future might be forgivable for space alpha might be sense, made any sense. Instead, we're left to watch characters spend the hyperverse while J.J. Abrams performs the verse killings of one of the character per movie and Ryan Johnson. <laughs> made they rest in peace. It's, it's just inconceivable how they mess this up so badly as eight year old drivers trying to feed and watch Star Wars. Not the new, and not yet the new hope, but our most ex best cultural experience he had uh, of his childhood. The story, the effects, and all the right years of everything you could imagine. Most of my time was spent conceiving relatives to buy me Star Wars figures. I helped make George Lucas very kept the most and rights for him. So I'm a zillion now. I got these toys of my wife. So I was around 12, um, I was owned to one of the kids and Moran Falcons and Luke and Father Real Motions had an impact on. This 10 year old, I've raised more time reading Star Wars novels than I care to admit. Um, you know. Basically, this guy, he remembers to sit waiting for over the Phantom Mass trailer to roll out by my dad on correction. But he knows Lucas Cleaves and Zabosin from the Fog. He was so well filled at Golden Rancher Ghost here and seeing the procedure of the Jedi and how it's a power, but how soon began to think as stories emerged in the train negotiations, is probably the most boring um, topic in the entire galaxy and about mere coins. Why was Lucas wasting precious time explaining the genetics of the behind the force? Why was he killing off the best characters? 
It's a weapon along tail goes so far, far away, a most of us could be left to the imagination. We will just of any oversight, as that will mass create prequels that were excessively convoluted and unsophisticated. Some of us playing Lucas, but what's the war and how hard, you know, some of us had high hopes for, you know, Abrams who reboot the Star Trek franchise while pres preserving sensibilities of the original. So, um, basically, blah, 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 you know. And of course, the set of Rogue One is one of the bad films of the franchise. Animated shows are fun, but people find, I disagree, find so prefer that to end sequels rather than prequels. A fire heart in the my accent says it's a man who a fire heart and that wise skywalker ready we big we reveal all the wise skywalker will break it all over while. But I doubt the thing is that I can re can really care about who Ray's parents are, and that I don't care about Ray or anyone else. After a string of disappointment I'm mostly thankful that the madness is coming to an end. So this guy said even make the sequels will make the street prequel seem bearable. Okay, this is what happens when you um, make the fans of a franchise angry, okay? But of course, this is going to say, it's going to make records, you know, it's going to make records, because, you know, apparently it's our start in Endgame, you know, of course, you know, Joker's going to make a billion, not Joker, Star Wars is going to make a billion dollars, you know, of course, it's, it's has Disney's logo, you know, if it has Disney's logo, it will sell, you know, um, you know, Star Wars is kind of a franchise that has disappeared off the planet. The only movies people remember are the original trilogy. Nobody's gonna really say well, that the best Star Wars movies are the sequels. No one. Okay. Some people probably say the prequels because of the nostalgia, but no one will have nostalgia for The Last to Die, The Force Awakens, and of course, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, and... They, and of course, they're going to tell you every, every time that, oh, you know, if you don't like this movie, you know, you're racist and this stuff, and it's unreasonable, you don't like Star Wars, you know, you're supposed to like Star Wars, it's popular, you know, but Star Wars is going to soon become a thing of the past because of Disney and, uh, and them ruining Star Wars. Goodbye.